Howdy, is y'all. I'm unsophisticated. Remember me? How y'all doing today? How's your mom and them? I know, I know. Y'all still expecting me to come back all gussied up and sophisticated, but I'm still unsophisticated. This week was kind of rough, and being the end of the month, gas money was kind of tight. About like them there Siamese twins tight. We's also been a prepping for my brother's hitching all week long. You know, cooking victuals and spreading crepe paper, ribbons and flowers all over the yard for the sacred day. This'll make my brother's third of hitching, and we was so happy when he was able to find a young lady that only has three kids this time. She's the daughter of the family over the hill over there by the creek. Three hours later. And after all that, these two kids finally met and fell in love. They sure did. <laughs> then we finally get to the best part of the day, the reception. Whilst I'm serving up vittles and tending to the little ones, I hear them four words. You know it's either going to be real funny or you're going to hear some bones are cracking. Hey, y'all, watch this. I looked up just in time to see old cousin Banger. We call him that because he plays a mean set of drums, but he also likes to bang his head on stuff just for fun. Jumping from table to table when he falls and slides this freak slide head first right through that there awful divinity that auntie always brings she is so old that she can't tell the difference between whipped cream and cream of potato soup Whew. into the bride breaking her leg almost half in two look just like an angry bull charging through them there rodeo clowns it sure did <laughs> Being I'm the only one that don't do no hard of drinking, I had to haul her to the doctor in place in bullet, no less. You should have seen them boys lifting her in that there truck bed. Near took eight of them. They had to put them there bungee cords all over her to hold her steady. I tried my best to drive around all them there potholes. Hold on tight, sissy. Here we go. When I got her to the emergency doctor in house, they wouldn't let me stay with her because I ain't close enough kin. I had also forgotten to bring my dang face hanky. Them there doctor and folks told me that they would text me when I could take her back home again. I ain't got no uh, smartphone, so uh, I don't know who they's are gonna text. Now, whilst I was waiting out in that old bullet, I got to listen to the AM radio again, and you'll never guess who was doing a speech. None other than old Orangey, and he talked for a long time. I knows a little bit about that there, I do. They started out the show with that there great and patriotic song by Lee Greenwood, Proud to be an American. I do love that there patriotical song. God bless the Now, I've been hearing folks talking about how they don't like how Orangey talks. That's kind of too personal, if you ask me. Ain't nobody can help the way that they talk. I think some folks just didn't like what he was saying is all. Now, I didn't like some of the things he was saying neither. But he ain't a running my life, and he has the right to say just about anything he wants. He is an American. I think. Now, 
I'd rather have somebody be able to say whatever the heck they want to say whenever they want to say it so that I know how to deal with that person in the long run. Don't forget, you let somebody talk long enough, they're going to tell you exactly who they are. Now, I always heard that their truth will set you free, <laughs> but only after it makes you angrier than a hornet's nest that's been hooked by a bear. <laughs> You know, I've had folks tell me that they don't like the way I talk. I just ask them, do I sound like I give a donkey cone? Old Orangey even told everybody that he got his vaccinations and that everyone else should do it too. I'm a trying, I'm a trying. I guess that makes him sophisticated now. Shoot, am I ever gonna get my sophistication? As I recall, Old Orangey had that nasty old Corbell Breaker 19 virus when he lived up there in Washington, D.C. But he said he also got that there vaccination that makes you sophisticated. I couldn't believe his audience got upset about that. You should have heard him a booing. I was surprised. Don't these want to be sophisticated too? Old Orangey talked about all kinds of stuff that I have no idea about. Like y'all already know, I'm unsophisticated. Something about how this menstruation is bad and causing U.S. citizens danger because our old sophisticated president went on vacation while them folks overseas was having trouble because of something we was a doing or wasn't a doing over there. Come on now, I heard of this before. If in the memory serves, they called it a working vacation. If in y'all asked me, that don't make a bit of sense, though. If I'm a fishing, only work to be done is that there to be eating them their fish. Or beans if we don't catch nothing. Besides, I've always heard them folks overseas been a feuding like the Hatfields and McCoys since before the United States was even an idea. Why we was over in them's war business in the first place and for 20 long Rip Van Winkle years, I'll never know. Hey, but you know, I'm unsophisticated. I don't know nothing. Except in what they tell me to know. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? He's right about that. Every morning when I woke, I head right out to the outhouse with my paper and my corn cobs. I sure do. <laughs> I have to tell y'all though, I did end up snoozing a little bit through old Orangey's speech. I was up a little early fixing them beetles for the hitching, and because he was saying lots of stuff that I'd done heard him say lots of times before, I figured I wasn't gonna miss too much. I can say one thing though, he sure is consistency. That was my latest new word. It wasn't very hard, but I still have trouble knowing when to use it. Well, I guess I better be getting back to the house. Old sissy can't do much right now because she had to get all them uh, pins and needles put in her leg so it wouldn't fall off. Turns out old banger did another bang up job. I sure wish it would have been on his kit this time. My brother's doing all right, I guess. Messed up the honeymoon. <laughs> Hope the stuff that happened this week ain't a sign of things to come, but you know, it probably is. Let me go get these little and some vittles. I'd make old Banger help me, but he would just end up banging his head on something and causing more work. I sure can't wait to be getting my sophistication so I can meet some more sophisticated people. You know, the ones that keep telling everyone to be more like them. See y'all later. Y'all come back now, yeah?